Good day to you guys, CG Patrick here and in today's video, I'm going to teach you how to create this disintegration effect or dissolve effect in Blender EV. And everything will be driven by procedural textures. First, we are going to be building our node setup with a cube so I could explain to you better what is happening under the hood of everything. And then we are going to group our nodes and save it so we could use it in the other objects or animated scene. And after we save our nodes, we are going to apply this into a text animation and a Susan head with a PBI texture applied to it. A quick note though, this is not a step-by-step -step tutorial. I am assuming that you already have an idea on how nodes work or how Blender works or how to use Blender. So cut the talking, let's go and start the tutorial. So first, I deleted everything except the default cube. We're gonna start with this one for now. I'm just gonna go in the material shading tab there, create a material to that cube and rename this to dissolve material. I'm just gonna flash the node setup here in the screen so you know in advance what we are going to work with. Now, first thing, I disconnected the BSDF node here and we're just gonna place it here. We are going to use that later and I added a mix shader node and plug this into that surface input and also I added a transparent BSDF node and plug this into the top input of the shader and just to see things better, I'm just gonna plug the principal BSDF here temporarily and then I'm going to add the following nodes, a color ramp node, noise texture, and to bring up the mapping node, I just control T with the noise texture t selected. And there you go. Now I just plug this accordingly. Color ramp to mix factor. Noise to ramp factor. And for the mapping, instead of generated, I choose object. And plug this into location and rotation only. Now to see things better again, adjust the ramp to these values. Now before adding the next nodes, I think this is the perfect time to enable our transparency option. So, so if you already know, just press N in the keyboard and go to materials options and set the blend mode to alpha hashed and shadow mode to none. I advise you to use the alpha hash blend mode. Those noise produced by this blend mode add a bit of an effect, natural effect to it. So what is basically happening here in our nodes is by connecting the color ramp set up in the factor, in the mix factor, we are transforming grayscale information into values for these two nodes right here, the transparent and the BSDF node. So basically we are telling Blender that the black will be the transparent and the white will be the material. Now, I don't need this result so far. This is not what we are after. We need to be specific to Blender. So next, I added a gradient node and mix this with my noise texture using a mix RGB. Then I plug the noise to the top of the mix node and gradient in the bottom of it. Now, since I need the same mapping data, I just reconnect my existing mapping node here to my gradient so we can control or animate it later with the same transform details. So this is what we got so far. Next, let's add in a burning effects. So I just added an emission shader and I'm going to mix this with our principal BSDF shader. So let's go and do that. I just duplicated this mix shader and plug the BSDF to the bottom and the emission on the top. Now, I want the same factor data for this, so, so I just reconnect my color ramp setup to that. Following to that, I just set up my emission to 200. You can go crazy with this one. And I change the color to red or orangey like this. And don't forget to enable the bloom, of course, in our render settings. Now you can see it and it's perfect, but not quite yet. Next, I need to add an object as control in our viewport so we can animate this without messing with our node setup. So I just added an empty there in our viewport. This will serve as our main control in my texture coordinate here, we can actually control our location and rotation mapping using a specific object in the viewport. So I just selected there the empty that we just created. Now if we test this out, nice. But I noticed that the noise texture is not moving at all. We don't want that. So go back in the noise texture there and instead of 3D, 
I switch this to 4D. And instead of vector input, I plug the mapping to W or 4D value input. Okay, that's perfect. Looking nice so far. And one more, you can also influence noise values or appearance by scaling the empty. Now you can go crazy with the noise setting. I'm just gonna leave this to you. So again, this is our node setup. So next, let's try and apply this effect to our Suzanne head really quick. So let's delete the cube there, except the empty of course. And then let's add a Suzanne monkey head, make her beautiful, add a sub sub modifier, smooth in her face. Now that's beauty. Now with the Suzanne selected, let's apply the dissolve material that we created earlier. Now look at that. And of course, you can edit and go crazy creative with BSDF materials. You can even add PBR textures on it and still retain the effects. Now let's go crazy with this one. But first, let's just group this node setup and save it so it's easier for us to append this and reuse it. So I'm just gonna go back here and select these nodes and Control G to group them up. Now I just drag this group input and I connect all output that I'm going to be needing soon. Emission color and strength and these common PBR inputs. Just rename this node group so it's easier for us to recognize it. Then hit save and rename. Now let's add this effect to my text animation scene. So hop on in my scene here. As you can see, pretty simple setup. Simple extrude text with Bebas font. Simple background. Now I'm just gonna go here in the shading tab and this is where we are going to import the nodes. Just go in the file, append, and then navigate to the folder where you saved your blend file. Click that and select material and select this dissolved material group. Now back to shader editor. I'm gonna add the node here. Shift A, group. Just select the node group to add into your material. And as you can see, the empty object control is also important as well. I just deleted the BSDF node and reconnect this to material input and change the color to whatever. In this case, I like orange. And you can change the color of the glow as well. Next, I just change my blend mode to alpha hash and don't forget to set the shadow mode to none. And there you go. And to help sell the effect more, I just added the modifiers with the text selected. I just added an edge split and a wave modifier. If you hit play, now it will wave like crazy like that. We don't want that. So what I'm going to do is to slow this down extremely slow. Go to speed and set this to 0.0001. That will make it very slow. If we now hit play, not moving at all. Now I'm gonna go turn the normals and disable the Z axis in this start position here. Set that to our empty control. If we now grab the empty here, now it follows. Nice. And the following step is up to you now. You can animate this the way you want it. In this case, I added a camera shake to it to add a bit of a motion to it. And now you can easily apply this to any project that you have. For example, I created a basic Suzanne head scene here. I just imported our nodes that we created earlier. And then there you go. Pretty simple. So that's all about it guys. Thank you for watching this tutorial. I hope you like it. I hope you learn a lot. If you do, please like, subscribe, or share this video. And I appreciate my 20 subscribers. Thank you for liking and watching and subscribing to me. If you have any questions, comments, please go write that down below. I will reply. And if you want more Blender Notes tutorial, which is more basic or an introductory to Blender Notes, you can check out Ducket 3D, CG Matter, or Default Cube tutorials, or more. I will link down below the description of their channel. You should check them out. Reason why? Because my next tutorial will be more for advanced Blender user. Because I realized that I am not 
really good at step-by-step -step tutorials so I, that's why I'm recommending these channels to you you should check them out really a recommendation because I also learn from them my, my goal to this channel is for you to generate more ideas faster generate output more faster or or better because I know you guys are already creative generate ideas use blender and be creative so yeah see you next time bye